Good morning, everybody. So let me start today's uh, lecture of the basic of information processing. So today's topic is uh, program language C. So since today, so we will shift to the uh, uh, program language. Okay. So first of all, uh, the user, please open the today's contents, like here. So first of all, I, I have uh, one question. Do you have any experience of uh, programming, especially C language? No. No, nobody. <laughs> OK. <laughs> so anyway, no problem. <laughs> OK. Everybody open this content. So today's uh, topic is uh, especially what is the programming. So general meaning and uh, general uh, information about uh, programming. Okay. So actual content as shown here. So first is what is the program. And the program language, I will introduce some program languages. And uh, after that, I will introduce uh, program language C. And uh, I will explain why do you have to learn in programming. And uh, we use uh, Xcode. Xcode is an uh, integrated uh, development environment of uh, C programming, especially dedicated for the Mac OS. Okay? So we use Xcode uh, developing environment. And after that, I uh, will introduce uh, how to use uh, Xcode. Actually, I ask you to. Um, make a simple program, okay? So finally, I'll introduce uh, today the exercise. Uh, this is a very simple exercise, okay? So first, I'll introduce uh, what is the program. So program uh, is a, uh, has a several meaning, general meaning and uh, computer literacy meaning. So usually, this uh, present, uh, description of something to be performed, or procedure or instruction of tasks. So these are several uh, examples. In, for example, elementary school, so sometimes uh, there are several events in a year, each year, especially sports events, for example, sports events. For such events, the teacher uh, have to provide some programs for such uh, uh, events, uh, for the student or uh, their families. Okay, so in this case, the program is the uh, contents uh, of the uh, detail of the sport events. Okay. And uh, this case is a concert, a musical uh, concert examples. In this case, the organizer or some companies uh, that provide uh, such uh, events, I have to provide a program of the concert. In this case, cases, the program, uh, program uh, has a several um, list of the music, music actually performed in this uh, concert uh, for the audience. Okay? So in the computer systems, so in this case, uh, this program, uh, in this case, program uh, is actually a uh, program uh, performed in the computer systems. Uh, usually, a uh, human, of course, provides such programs uh, for the computers. Okay? So there are several uh, types of programming languages uh, for computer programs. Okay? So, <coughs> So as shown here, a computer uh, only accepts the numeric code as a program. It usually calls a machine code. Okay. So however, uh, it's difficult to to remember or learn such a numerical code for humans, human beings, for us. Okay. So on the other hand, the human, we, uh, for us, it is easy to understand the program if such program is represented as natural languages. However, such a of course, such a natural language cannot accept 
accepted by the computers. So we have to use some uh, mechanism to change the natural language into the machine language. OK? So this process is usually called interpreter, interpret or compile. OK? So, so actually, uh, as shown here, uh, there are several program languages, C language, basic, and Fortran, and Pascal, and Java. Okay, these are all uh, program languages. So basic is a base, basic of <laughs> Beginners, 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 uh, sorry, I forgot that. Actually, beginners, uh, beginners all purpose uh, supported uh, instruction program. Uh, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not mad. So Hotra means a uh, formula, formula translation, maybe. So especially this is uh, dedicated for the um, calculation, a numerical calculation of the program. And uh, Pascal is also very similar to the C languages. So however, uh, rather than C program, C languages, uh, Pascal can be uh, easier more easier uh, for understand. And uh, Java, maybe as you know. So as I explained, uh, mainly uh, two categories about uh, types of program languages, procedural and the functional languages, and then uh, compiler or interpreters. So this should show the uh, uh, so, so details of the, uh, about the procedural language and the functional languages. The upper part is the procedural language, the lower part is the functional languages. So usually procedural languages uh, is uh, provided for uh, to describe procedure as a program. So procedure means the sequence of the any instructions. Okay? And the execution mechanism is uh, usually uh, so for the process languages, the so execution mechanism is uh, usually employed as a compiler rather than interpreters. However, these days, the, some interpreter exists for the process language, especially for Java. Okay. So yeah, these languages are included in the process languages. Okay. And the functional languages. Ah. So function, functional language, function. So maybe you can understand function. So you can uh, define uh, any uh, sequence of instruction as a function, set of function. Okay. And the execution mechanism is uh, also. Uh, same the compiler or interpreters, okay. So especially the uh, func the functional languages, the uh, compiler calculates the return value as the uh, output of the functions, okay. So the this blend scheme uh, included this uh, type of the languages. Okay, this is a list processor, short form list processor. A scheme is almost the same as a list languages. So I already explained the compiler and the interpreters. So this is the difference between the, uh, about the execution mechanisms. <coughs> so as I explained, compiler. Uh, so using uh, compilers, for example, C compilers. So once you have to make a program, so such program is called the source code, okay, as the C languages. After that, uh, you can uh, make uh, executable programs, okay, by changing uh, source code into the executable code, 
using the compilers, especially C compilers. Okay. So executable program uh, is a machine language programs. Okay. So once you compile the, uh, your program as a machine uh, language programs, the uh, compiler anymore uh, not necessary, not needed after that. Yeah, so execution is very fast. So in this case, only machine language program itself uh, run on the PC without any compiler and tool. So on the other hand, the interpreter, so as shown here, the interpreter interprets the each sentences of the any programs one by one. Okay, so the execution a speed is not so fast rather than uh, compiled code. Okay. So in this case is uh, in this case also you have to make a source programs. Okay. So using the interpreters, you can make an interpreter. Uh, co interpret the each sentences of your source program one by one. Okay. So, so in these cases, the any output uh, executor program. Uh, in these cases, any output executor program is a uh, uh, output by the interpreters. Okay. So in this class, uh, we learn uh, C languages, especially. Okay. So because C is a very uh, useful languages, uh, rather than other problem languages. So actually, if you uh, after graduated universities, uh, maybe you will enter the any companies. So you work as uh, any uh, system engineers. So you have to make uh, many programs. So in such a case, usually you have to use uh, C languages. Okay. So as shown here, C language is uh, uh, proposed by the uh, DM Rich, uh, especially for the program languages for the Unix operating systems. So actually Unix operating system uh, was uh, developed using the C program languages. Okay. So the, the C program language provides any functionality to enable direct memory access. So this is very typical uh, functionalities of the C program language. Usually, other languages cannot be accessed, direct memory access, not allowed to access directly to the memories in other languages. However, the C program provides such a functionalities. Okay? So, using the C program language, you can uh, develop, the, uh, for develop operating systems. Okay? Rather, uh, beside uh, a standard application program. So standardized by ANSI. So this means the high portabilities. Once you make uh, C program languages, so such program uh, can be reused as a platform. Okay. So ANSI means the American National Standard Institute. So, so as shown here, the usually a compiler provided for the C languages. So Xcode, uh, in your uh, programming environment, also you use a, a compiler for C program language. So from here, uh, we consider the part is a computer program. So of course, the computer program uh, also can be 
are only can be uh, performed on the computers. So why uh, you have to uh, make a such computer program? So for example, uh, that, so for example, this is a very simple uh, uh, problem. So you, in this case, you want to uh, buy uh, ice cream for five persons uh, by 2,000 yen. Okay. So uh, using programs, C language programs, uh, you can check the actual cost, price of ice cream. Uh, multiply by uh, 1.05. Um, so actually, this is a tax. And also, uh, you can use a conditional branch uh, to check the, such ice cream is uh, expensive or no. So in these cases, the price of the ice cream uh, is, la is larger than 400 yen. So usually, such ice cream is very expensive. As shown here, so using these numerical calculation of uh, conditional branch, or loop, iteration, and the input out of uh, functionality, or store values, or sorting, so you can solve the any problem, actual problem, uh, by making a program for that. So before actual, uh, before making actual program, you have to consider the two. Uh, terms, technical terms, algorithm and programs. So as shown here, algorithm uh, means idea, idea or method to solve an actual problem, not depend on program languages. Okay? So however, program it depends on the program languages actually you use. Okay? So once you have to uh, define the algorithm, find out the algorithm. After that, you have to define the, uh, such algorithm using uh, a certain program. In this case, you have to define the, such a algorithm using a C programming languages. OK? So as shown here. So why you have to run a program, program programming? That I already explained that in the university act life and activities, especially after entering the laboratory. Okay. So for your researches, you will have the many chance to make programs. Okay. So usually C language is very common and useful. So you have to learn the C from languages in this class, OK? Uh, so especially, as shown here, the target uh, problem has a, many, has a huge, uh, large scale computation. So usually, you cannot, uh, uh, you cannot solve uh, such problem calculation, a numerical cal calculation problem uh, by yourself, uh, manually. In such cases, the computer program is uh, useful. And also, very complicated problem. In such cases, also, uh, you can manage such program. So, however, using the computers, sometimes a computer I uh, can solve such a problem. And huge data, so over one billion, usually you cannot handle such a data. So however, a computer can handle such data. So for example, if you <coughs> have a very simple pro problem, so if such problem is too simple, you don't need to make a program if you can uh, manage such problem by yourself manually. So however, as I explained, you have to uh, 
treat the large scale computation and very complicated uh, computation uh, huge data. Uh, you, uh, it's better to use, uh, it's better to make a program for that. So there are trade-offs between such two problems, okay? So time spent for programming and uh, execution time, okay? So both uh, time is uh, important. So if you have the very simple pro problem, to solve such a problem, you uh, once you want to make a program, the however the uh, program time is too much, so it's a uh, um, nonsense. So in such cases, uh, you can solve your simple problem by manually. Okay. And also execution time. <coughs> so usually. Uh, even if you have uh, some problem, uh, you can manage uh, by yourself uh, manually. The however, to solve such a problem, you have to much time. You have to spend much time. So in such cases, uh, computer usually computer program run fast uh, rather than such time. So such cases, you uh, it's better to make a program for that. Okay, so from here, uh, since here, I introduce uh, actual C programming. Okay, so using Xcode, Xcode, so initially Xcode provides a simple frame, a simple template program like this. Okay, so this is a very um, famous, very simple, most the simplest uh, uh, program. So this program only uh, displays uh, storing hard words on the, your computer monitor, OK? So as shown here, you have to, um, so this is a, this is to show the simple uh, rule about the C program languages, OK? So this uh, green sentence is uh, means uh, comments. Okay. So before the comments, you have to put uh, slash, 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 double slash. Okay. In this case, it's this string uh, treated as a comment. So usually, compile, C, pro, C compiler uh, ignore this sentences, this line. And uh, in this program, uh, only uh, one function is used, the printf print function. Okay? Printf function uh, is used to, to display the any string data on display. Okay? In this case, it's the, such a string is uh, defined as a hello world string. Okay? So string can be uh, code can be, the string uh, should be, the double code should be located before and the end. So this case is uh, inside characters treated as string, okay? So also you have to consider the special characters, escape sequence characters. So in fact, the mark, mark means uh, backslash. Slash, slash, slash. So backslash. Usually backslash plus uh, any character uh, means special uh, functionality characters called the uh, escape, escape sequences, okay? So unfortunately, Windows system uh, appears only in Mac as a backspaces. So however, Macintosh OS in your systems 
the, this character appears as backslash. OK? So please treat this n mark as a backslash in your system. OK? And the semicolon. Semicolon is very important uh, characters. The semicolon means the end of the sentences, instructions. OK? So in this case, it's uh, two uh, sentences exist. OK? So two semicolon. One is a uh, print function. Another, the other one is a return function. OK? So in your programs, at least one function necessary. So one main function necessary. So initially, uh, such a function uh, will be executed at first, first stage, first of all. Okay? And some symbols, semicolon and uh, comma and double quote and space, and the left place, and the right place. So left braces and the right braces are uh, uh, used combined together uh, to define the, any block. The block means uh, uh, a correction of the sentences. Okay. So as I explained, you uh, have to define the one function, main function, at least in your program. So. This is a definition of the main function. Okay. So any, so the so all function uh, have to have the any type depending on the return values. So in this case, if this main function return the uh, integer zero, so this function type is the integers. The int means the integer. Okay. And uh, you have to specify uh, the number of the arguments and the type of the arguments. So in this case, it's two arguments. A main function has two arguments. The first argument is the type with the integer type. Okay. So as a, as the other uh, argument is a character type. And in this case, two uh, sentences exist. So print, as I explained, print a function and the return a function. Okay. So usually, <coughs> the program uh, can be executed uh, sequentially, upper part to lower part, so one by one. Okay. Sentence by ten sentences. So this should show the also actual execution flow of the program. So the executable program uh, start to execute the main function. So in the main function, the, only the printf function is defined. So this uh, function can be uh, executed. Actually, as a result, the hello world string uh, will be appears on the display screen. So in this case, is printf function. So actually, you define you not define the printf function. However, you can use printf function in your program so because the printf function is provided as a library one of the library functions. Okay, standard functions. Okay, so C programming languages already uh, provide many uh, standard functions, very common and uh, popular and very useful functions. A collection of such functions is called the uh, standard functions or library functions. Okay. So if you use a standard function in your program, uh, there are some rules. So as shown here, so all function, standard function, need to be defined uh, before calling them. So especially uh, this function is a standard function. You have to uh, read the header file. The header file, uh, in header file, uh, the prototype uh, definition is defined. 
Then the compiler can be compiled, understand the actual uh, function, uh, what kind of the, uh, what type of the function, integer type, string type, or not, or so, or how many arguments necessary. So once you read the uh, header file, the compiler can understand such a definition, prototype definition, and uh, continue to compile uh, operations. Okay. So if you use a standard function in your program, you have to read a corresponding header file. Okay. So there are several header files according to the collection of the standard functions. So for example, uh, print a function or some a similar function, uh, the prototype definition for that uh, defined in standard IO header, stdio.header file. Okay? And uh, numerical function, a mathematical function, and uh, character function, string function, utility, other utility uh, also define these headers. Data files, okay. So also the compiler provides the pre-process operations. So there are two examples. One is uh, uh, reading the header file. So pre-process uh, sentences, for pre-process sentences, you have to put the sharp character, okay. So this case of the, this sentence, uh, means uh, pre-process operations. So if you uh, you have to read uh, standard I/O header file, you can define this uh, line in your program before the definition of the main function. Okay. And also this it also pre-process. In this case, is this symbol max character uh, capital letter M A X is treated as an uh, integer number, 512, okay? So by this pre-process, this symbol is replaced to the, this number, actual program, okay? In actual program, program. So this is shows the <coughs> more details about uh, printf functions. Actually, printf function uh, can be used as a uh, formatted output functions. Okay, so as I explained, you have to read the uh, header file, stdio.header, before using the actually this function. Okay, so this function uh, usually Usually, this function has a many uh, arguments. So in this case, it's only one argument is defined. Okay. So the first argument is treated as a format, format, format string. So detail I will explain later. So anyway, this case is the only one argument is defined as a format string. So string to be displayed. Actually, this uh, string to display uh, string will be appear on the display screen. And as I explained, the mark and the character, this combination are treated as a escape sequence, special characters for any special operations. So in this case, this means uh, carriage return, okay? So after this, if you put any string, so such string will appear uh, next line, in the next line, okay? Before this line on computer screen. So uh, this means the start a new line, okay? So there are several uh, space sequence uh, characters. Uh, for example, uh, backslash plus t, character t, means a horizontal tab. 
usually tab mean the collection of the four or eight uh, space. Okay, usually four spaces. It depends on the editor. Okay, and the uh, backslash plus r mean the carriage return. So from now, so actually I asked to make a program, simple program, especially for today's exercise uh, by using the Xcode integrated uh, development environment for C programming, C languages on Macintosh. So as shown here, so it detail, details of the IDE uh, you can refer to another materials. Uh, file name is here. 08C slide to how to use Xcode. Okay. So actually you actually when you make a program uh, using Xcode, please refer to this uh, content. Okay. Or uh, as shown here, please refer to any other information about the C programming languages or Xcode, any error about any errors. Okay. So finally, I will introduce a today's exercise. So please make uh, three programs separately. So first program is a very simple, uh, only uh, such program uh, displayed uh, a string good morning on the screen. Okay. <coughs> and uh, next is a uh, next program is almost the same. Uh, However, the, in this case, it's uh, four string, good morning, good day, good evening, and good, mo good night uh, will appear on the computer screen in each line separately. Okay? So you can use uh, uh, as a stop code, as a st you can use uh, backslash and end as a stop code between the each string, okay? And uh, so this is uh, almost the same program. However, uh, uh, no, 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 no. Ah. <laughs> so this case, is, oh, sorry. Uh, in this case, you have to use a uh, four printer function, okay, separately. So in this case, you, enough to use only one uh, printer function. So in this case, you can four printer function. Okay? Each function for dedicated for the each string separately. So however, the last program, the uh, execution result is the same. The, however, the, you have to only one uh, printer function. So in this case, it's you put the backslash in of each sentence, okay? So please try to make uh, uh, these ex exercise programs. 